500,000 units by 2022. The project is, however, yet to kick start two years later. The government expects an increase in budget allocation, so will the manufacturing sector prided to hold key in job creation. Christine Kamau delves deeper into this agenda studying the development so far. Mr. Speaker, our development partners have supported us in various projects that have uplifted our living standards. We value this support very much. We will be engaging with them in the spirit of true partnership to make the Big, big Four plan a reality. Already, many of our development partners are funding projects within the Big Four sectors. But in addition to that, and with uh, a view to mobilizing additional resources, they have indicated their willingness to review the rest of their portfolio to align them with the Big Four plan. It is a speech that evoked hope and optimism among Kenyans who thought and believed that the just ending financial year will bring forth great things, especially in the area of infrastructural development. Some players in the Ministry of Transport, Housing and Urban Planning, one of the ministries that received the launch in the 2018-2019 budget allocation, were hopeful that the allocation will help them finish the then ongoing projects, some of which have now been classified as tall projects. The Treasury allocated $115 billion to fund the completion of the then ongoing road constructions. Surprisingly, some road projects like the Ngong Road construction are still ongoing even as questions continue to pile up when the project will be complete. As a measure to facilitate the realization of the housing agenda under President Uhuru Kenyatta's Big Four, 3 billion shillings were allocated for the construction of the affordable housing unit with 1.5 billion being set aside for the police house units. This, however, will remain a promise as Kenyans have not yet moved into the new houses promised in 2017. The first batch of housing, which is Phase 1 and Park Road, comprises 220 housing units. And they are meant to be, they are designed or destined to be ready by September this year. That's the first batch. Okay. And as soon as they are ready, the process of allocation will begin. Right? As soon as they are ready. So by September, the process of allocation will start. In the 2018-2019 budgetary allocation, $74 billion was set aside for the completion of Phase 2A of the Standard Gauge Railway. The completion of this phase has, however, been a great challenge with land compensation standing out as a major obstacle. While taking the annals of power, President Uru Kenyatta assured Kenyans, especially the youth, that this project will be a big employer, a promise that is yet to be realized. I have also allocated $2.7 billion for the Mombasa Port Development Project, and 1.4 billion for the expansion of Malindi, Ishiolo, Lokichogyo airports, and, Kap and Kapunde, Kakamega, Kitale, and Migori airstrips. The completion of the Mombasa seaport at a cost of 2.7 billion has, however, been a major milestone since the 2018 2019 budgetary allocation, and this is a plus on the part of the government. As Kenyans honestly wait for the Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich to read and present the 2019-2020 budget allocation before Parliament tomorrow, some of the projects which were budgeted for in the previous financial year still remain incomplete, a good example being the expansion and the improvement of airstrips in the country. Calvin Ogome, KUTV.